Gusmer Enterprises is proud to be the North American representative for Christian Hansen. Yeah, so my name is Ryan Jackal. I am the head brewer here at Wise Man Brewing in uh, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Yeah, so we've been open about two years, uh, going on three years. Uh, one of the things we're known for is producing a really wide variety of different beer styles. And uh, something that's become really popular here in the past uh, year or so, and throughout the industry, I think, is our kettle sour beers. So our Gozas and our Berliner Weisses, we've even experimented with some uh, sour IPAs, some sour pale ales. So we were first introduced to Christian Hansen Harvest LB1 uh, through our research and development program. Uh, we always have uh, some R&D going on with different ingredients and techniques, uh, ways that we can better our process. <clears throat> so we decided to give it a shot and uh, use it for our kettle sour beers. Um, particularly the Bertolander Weiss and the, uh, the Goza. All right, so I'd say uh, our favorite attribute of the Christian Hansen Harvest LB1 is the fact that it's very fast and gives us a really consistent, clean uh, flavor and aroma profile. Um, our data checkpoints uh, in the lab are showing us that we're able to drop the pH of the wort from around 5.5 down to about 3.5 uh, within about 14 to 16 hours. So what that's enabled us to do is really speed up our process because it doesn't tie up our brew house as long. We're able to flip that beer a little bit faster um, and get another beer back in that tank. And so overall, it just helps us out with uh, the production scheduling. I would say another uh, good attribute would be the fact that it's pretty competitively priced. I was pretty shocked to see uh, the price on the product when I first uh, got the quote. And Along with that is uh, really easy to use. It comes in this uh, super simple uh, freeze-dried uh, pouch here. Um, you basically just pull it out of the cooler about 15 minutes before you're ready to inoculate your wart. Open her up, sprinkle it on the wart. We usually go at about 85 to 90 degrees uh, Fahrenheit and uh, just start monitoring it from there and almost check it hourly. So very easy to use. So as far as recommendations go for any new users, I would say uh, definitely get your uh, data points on this. Um, you know, that's, that's the only way you're really gonna dial it in, but you will get some consistency. Um, definitely look over your, uh, your uh, kettle souring techniques. Uh, make sure you got the fundamentals down pat and that you're touch the base with uh, customer on their recommended uh, dosage and uh, usage for the product as well. So I think the key learning curve uh, for us um, was just at how fast this, uh, this pure culture worked um, at acidifying our wort. Um, it was something that we really had to keep up with to uh, make sure we didn't overdo it and really got in that range of uh, uh, pH of 3.5, kind of the sweet spot of where we want to be for our kettle sours. We use, uh, for one pouch, um, they say is good for eight to 10 uh, barrels. Uh, so what we do is uh, we have a 15 barrel brew house and typically fill up the kettle with about 19 and a half barrels of wort. So we're usually using about two pouches. Yes, our customer support from Gusmer has been excellent. Um, we actually use a few of their other products and so I'm already familiar with their high standard of quality. Um, and you know anytime I have a question or looking for a suggestion uh, in a new brewing process or whatnot, uh, they're pretty quick to respond and uh, just great to work with in general. Cheers, everybody, from Wise Man Brewing. For more information, go to gusmerenterprises.com. Click on the Find a Rep on the main menu bar and then choose the industry you're interested in and enter your city and state. The technical sales representative in your region will then be selected. Gusmer Enterprises, service with knowledge since 1924.